Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click the bell icon for more videos notifications. Hello, my name is Anmol Soni. Welcome to my channel. This is a part 4 of Python programming for kids video series. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please go to the description and the link for the same is there below. So today we are going to cover three topics, Python syntax, Python comments and Python variables. So let us begin with Python syntax. So to execute Python syntax, first let us go to the idle shell. Hmm. After clicking on the idle shell, you will, this window will appear. So this one I'm going to do it in one file. New file. Then type. So type if 5 greater than 2. And then columns. Enter. It comes here and this and, uh, and it comes down and this part is the indentation. Then again type print then bracket double quotes 5 is greater than five is greater than two and then double quotes and then brackets save it so of at the end of the file you have to add dot py for example dot py here i have added dot py save it and then run it run run module 5 is greater than 2 but to execute python syntax we need to do the same but by skipping the indentation so this part is the indentation so skip it backspace yeah so now the uh, so now i have sk skipped the indentation run it it asks you to save click on ok print so here it gives an er error syntax error because we have skipped the indentation over here it is compulsory that after this after you click on enter then it, it will come over here it will come in this part so now let's make it again correct again backspace and then enter and then run it ok then here 5 is greater than 2 so the next topic is creating a comment so for creating a comment we need to add a hash hashtag but python will ignore them for example this type this is a, com a hashtag this is a comment comment enter python ignore this then again print bracket double quotes bracket double quotes hello world hello world and then again double quotes and then bracket enter it prints hello world it just ignores this comment and it prints hello world so with another example again you can actually you can type anything in you can type anything in this comment instead of this is a comment you can type anything again i'm again i'm typing this is a comment this is a comment enter it ignored then print cheers mate cheers mate then again double quotes and bracket enter gives cheers mate a, a python ignores a comment it doesn't at all print a comment it only prints the thing which is below the which is below the comment so our next topic is multi line comment so type hashtag this is a comment 
enter again hashtag written in just in just no written in more enter then one line and then again enter and then you will find and then type print hello world hello hello w o r l d hello world enter it prints hello world it uh, so basically this comment uh, comment can be also written in more than one line and then what is below the comment pr the print it prints that so a next topic is variable so when is a variable created a variable is created you first assign a value to it for example x equals to x equals to 5 enter y equals to john Co single quotes john single quotes enter and then print print x brackets x it prints 5 then print y enter john so what happens over here is x is a variable and y is a variable x and y are the variables and and after uh, the, after the variable i put an x equals to and i write i, I type the value over here in y it y is the and here also y is the variable equals to and i type a value to it and then i'm saying to print that value by a variable and then it prints 5 so variable x is containing the value 5 and it prints 5 and variable y is containing the value of john so it prints john so next topic is casting for that we'll open one new idle shell idle enter so this is a this is a new idle shell so what does a casting means if you want to specify a data type it can be done by casting so for example type x equals to string str 3 str and then in brackets 3 and then in the comment i'll type x will b and then in a single quote cell type 3 enter print x enter it prints 3 then now x equals to uh, int integer 3 and then in a comment x will be 3 enter print again x three but x equals to no i'm giving another variable this time y equals to float three and then in um come in a um, hashtag type y will be 3.0 then enter print y enter it gives you the output 3.0 so now let's try with the example of anmol so for that x equals to string and then anmol in bracket double uh, double quotes bracket double quotes anmol then double quotes bracket and then in a hashtag 
you can type anything as a comment in the hashtag but just remember that python will ignore them and enter then print x enter print some more then y equals to integer double quotes unmool double quotes bracket then enter it gives you an error and then let's try the same with float z equals to integer not integer float equals to float bracket double quotes unmool double quotes and then bracket enter it gives you an error that's because integers can be converted into string but not all strings can be converted into integer like i gave one example over here even strings or not uh, strings even cannot be converted into float because unmool is one string and then even i put double quotes here and type unmool and then here it gives you one value error and even in integer it gives you one value error so the next topic is type function for that we'll open one new idle shell after it's opened you'll get this window and then type x equals x equals to 5 enter y equals to john single quotes john so over here x and y are the variables and you can get the data type of these two variables by the type function for that you have to type print bracket type then again open bracket x then two close brackets enter we'll get int class int meaning integer and again for john type print type again uh, one open bracket y then on uh, two close brackets enter we'll get class str string so now let's discuss some legal and illegal variable names so a variable can have a a variable have a short name like x and y i have mentioned here and there are some rules for variables for example my var all should be small equals to john enter then my underscore var equals to john remember to add double quotes or single quotes my var john and my then capital v john equals to john enter so these are legal variable name now let's discuss some illegal variable name like 2 my var equals to john these are not as per the python rules enter it gives you one syntax error it is an invalid syntax this is an invalid because this is an invalid syntax so let's try the rest too for example my dash var equals to john single quotes john enter it again shows one syntax error cannot assign to operator 
and then my space var variable equals to single quotes john enter again it shows one syntax error this is an in invalid syntax because of the python python variable rules so these three are illegal variables in python that's why all of these three sh showed one error 2 my var equals to john syntax error again my dash var it shows an and syntax error and my space var it shows one syntax error as per the rules so our next topic is output variable for that we'll open one new idle shell so i have opened one new idle shell so what is the output variable to combine a to combine a text with a variable python uses the output variable so for example x equals to the single quote awesome single quote enter and then type in the next line type print bracket double quotes python is python is double quotes then plus x enter python is awesome so here it did not give any space because uh, here i here i needed to give one space so again we can try x equals to e s o m e awesome enter print double quotes python is python is double quotes plus x bracket enter python is awesome last time it last time it was it uh, did not given space between is and awesome because here i needed to add one space little space i needed to add so python is awesome it prints so what happens if you try to combine a string with an integer let me give you an example x equals to 5 y equals to single quotes john enter then print x plus y enter it gives you one type error because we can't combine a string with an integer so that's all for this video please keep an eye on my upcoming videos thank you for watching